good morning. Uh, on my part, I am James Lambert, Secretary for Hemispheric Affairs at the Organization of uh, American States, and pleased to welcome all of you uh, here today to this new edition of the Policy Dialogue, Balance of Power and the Safeguarding of Democracy, Reflections on the 20th Anniversary of the Adoption of the Inter-American Democratic Charter. The uh, dialogue is being organized by the Summit Secretariat of the OAS in collaboration with the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights and the Due Process for Law Foundation, to all of whom I extend my deep gratitude. And I greet and appreciate the participation of the Secretary General of the OAS, uh, Luis Almagro, as well as the Chair of the Summit's process, which will be represented by Kevin O'Reilly, the Summit's National Coordinator of the United States. I also extend greetings to Francisco Guerrero, my colleague, the Secretary of Strengthening Democracy, who will be present through a, a video, and Maria Selena Conte, who is the Acting Director of the Summit's Secretariat, and thank her and her team for making this session possible. And we're really pleased to be able to, to count today as well with the participation of many recognized international experts, particularly uh, the moderator of today's dialogue, Katja Salazar, who is the Executive Director of the Due Process for Law Foundation. Once again, Katja, our, our thanks to you and your excellent panelists, including Trevor Monroe, the Principal Director of the National Integrity Action, Jamaica's chapter of Transparency International, uh, Dr. Rodolfo Pisa, uh, a, a former uh, Minister of Government of Costa Rica and advisor to the Secretary General of the OAS, Mary Claire Acosta, who is the Director of Justicia Transicional Mexico and former Under Secretary for Human Rights and Democracy of the Me Mexican Secretariat of External Relations and who I knew in that capacity when I was the number two at the Canadian mission in Mexico just some 20 years ago. Uh, Joel Hernandez, Commissioner for the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights and Santiago Canton, Director of the Rule of Law Program of the Inter-American Dialogue and the former Executive Secretary of the Commission. Well, the Charter is a historic document which was adopted in pursuit of representative democracy in the Americas. It represents perhaps the single most salient outcome of the summit's process and particularly of the third summit of the Americas, which was held in Quebec in 2001. Today, we not only commemorate its 20th anniversary, but in light of the current context in the region, the Charter and its principles have become more relevant uh, than ever. And 20 years after its adoption, uh, it's useful to take stock of its application, of the new challenges that the democratic institutions in the regions face. Uh, today's difficult and turbulent context is marked by not only the consequences of COVID-19, but uh, of the further deterioration of authoritarian tendencies rising among political and social actors, restrictions on fundamental rights being imposed, new citizen demands expressed through social mobilization, political polarization, as well as health and economic crises that have amplified pre-existing social inequities. The session builds on a previous one that we hosted in May 2021, together with the uh, Summits Commission and the Commission on Judicial and Political Affairs of the OAS on Democratic Resilience, and the event is being broadcast on social media with simultaneous interpretation in English and Spanish, as well as sign language. And so, without any further ado, I would like to give the floor to the Secretary General uh, of the OAS, Luis Almagro, who is always eloquent in his support of the Charter and the values that it represents. 